So now you see how they did that right there. Um, and that gets us to the critical thinking part of this website here. So what you need to know is when you're doing research for anything, even if it's just for your own uh, joy of looking something up, you have to make sure what you're reading is real. And there is this cool um, uh, thing that I found, which is to put websites through the crap app test. And I exaggerate the a app because there are two A's in the crap test. But even first and foremost, whenever you read a website and you're like, is that true? Or you're learning something you're just not sure of, go and search and see if there's other websites that say the same thing. Find some verification. you got to have two or three websites uh, that can verify that fact, especially now with everything that's going on about coronavirus and COVID-19. If you hear something and you just don't believe it, go to the CDC website uh, or the World Health Organization. They've got the scientists and doctors working right there. They can tell you if it's true or not. Um, and if you believe it's a hoax, type in hoax after it when you Google it, and chances are somebody, somebody will have already debunked it and said, hey, hey, watch out, this is a hoax. If it's too good to be true, it's probably not true. Uh, just like those websites or pop-ups that say, hey, you can win this or get this for free. Again, if it's too good to be true, it's an ad. It's probably not true. So here's the crap test. Crap test, and, and you should read through this yourself, is uh, check to make sure it's current. Has the information been revised or updated? Uh, does it require current information, or is it just older sources? And do the links even work? Is it relevant? Okay. Um, is it at an appropriate level, or will you be comfortable using this source on a research paper? Now, this is a, an important one. The first A is authority. Uh, is the person who wrote it somebody who knows what they're talking about, has a background in it? Is it a doctor telling you about COVID-19, or is it somebody who just looks at data and does, is not a doctor? The other A is super important. Is it scientifically accurate? Okay, look it up, see if any other website can back it up. And then what's the purpose? Because honestly, if it's trying to sell you something, is that the best source? Or do you want to go to a source that has nothing to gain? They're just telling you the truth. And then I've got some other links here for fact checking and how to spot fake news. These are things and, and a couple of videos that you really need to get good at because there's so much information out there. You want to make sure you're getting the right stuff. Then you go back to class craft that. Um, once you're done with this activity, share what you learned and answer the following question. What did you learn about Pacific Northwest tree octopus, dihydrogen monoxide, and liquid mountaineering? And then how do you evaluate websites you find? You could just type your answer here in the uh, your assignment section, but I would prefer that you share it in the discussion so that everyone who does this can read your thoughts and you can read theirs. So anytime you put something in discussion, come back and check and see who's uh, responded to you. And that's how we're going to finish this Think Like a Scientist uh, quest activity. And then when you're done, go to assignment and just say you responded because maybe you wrote your response in the discussion like I just told you and then submit and boom you'll unlock the next objective.